What's going on horror fans? Happy Halloween. Today I wanted to do sort of an easy video for me. I just went I just went through and did every single Michael Myers kill, so I need a little bit of a break. I figured I've never done a blind ranking before, so I pulled up a random horror movie generator. It's got about a hundred horror movies on it. We're gonna give it 10 spins and we're gonna blindly rank these horror movies. I'm gonna try to make myself not look like too much of a jackass. So let's go ahead and get to it. Uh, you can see I did a test spin. It landed on Halloween Kills. We're not going to do that. We're going to give it a spin again. Let's see what we end up with. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Nightmare on Elm Street 2. Okay. All right. That's that's a pretty good one to start with. I actually prefer this one, you know, over most of the franchise. I'm a big fan of this. Uh, I know that there's some um, homosexual undertones that the writer had admitted to putting in this movie, but it doesn't bother me. I actually really enjoy, I believe it's Jesse is the main character in that movie. Uh, I enjoy his journey. I think that this is one of the best, if not the best versions of Freddy. So I know it's bold, but I'm going to put this at number three. It's going to leave me some room um, to go crazy a little bit later. But for now, let's do a nightmare on Elm Street. Two. I'm I'm okay with that. Again, it gives me a little bit of room to go above it, but there's no, I don't think there's going to be too many movies that are better than A Nightmare on Elm Street two. So I'm I'm confident with that. Let's go ahead and do spin number two. Here we go. Give us something interesting. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Halloween H two O. For most people, this might be at the very bottom of the list. I know that this is a polarizing entry. I'm super nostalgic for this movie. I was the perfect age when this came out. I was excited to see a Halloween movie uh, released in theaters. You know, I was too young to see most of the other ones. So when this one came out, I had an opportunity to go see it in theaters. It was the first Halloween I saw in theaters. Is it the scariest of the franchise? By no means is it the scariest of the franchise. Chris Duran is one of my least favorite Michael Myers's, but that doesn't change the fact that it was great to see Laurie Strode back. This is arguably her best performance, Jamie Lee's best performance as the character, certainly one of the more badass iterations of the character. So I, I enjoy this movie. I can't put it above Nightmare 2, so let's just stick it right in the middle at number 6. I think that's fair. I could end up getting in trouble a little bit later because I, I could end up having some classics below that and that'll piss some people off, but it's okay. I love Halloween H2. I don't care. Let's go. Let's see what we got. Come on, give us something interesting. Give us something interesting. What do we got? Is this Dawn of the Dead? Child's Play. Okay, it's not the remake. I know that they do say remake if it's the remake. So the original Child's Play uh, is certainly one of the more scary uh, versions of this movie uh, they definitely get sillier and campier as they go on and in this one it's not that Chucky doesn't have a personality but it's he's certainly more psychotic certainly a little bit more uh, focused on what he's trying to achieve and that's getting out of the doll's body and into Andy Barkley's body and you know, again you've heard me say it before if you're a fan of this channel children in peril it works for me so this first child's play movie it's a classic. I'm going to notch it right above Halloween H2O. How about that? Again, it gives me a little bit of room to play. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I, I think I think we're off to a halfway decent start, um, but I, I have a feeling eventually I'm going to have to put some great movies below those, and I'm going to hear some shit for it. But let's see what our next spin is. What is this? It Chapter 2? It Chapter 2. Okay, so we got the remake, It, the second part. I do think that this is vastly, vastly inferior to part one. I, I love It Chapter One with the kids. I think those kid actors did fantastic. And they did a decent job of casting you know, the kids up. I love everybody that they brought in. It just, the movie doesn't work as well for me. And then, you know, the ending. I know that Pennywise is powered by fear, but you're telling me that you can bully an interdimensional alien being or whatever the hell he is into giving up, no longer existing. It just didn't work for me. It didn't hit. Uh, so it chapter two, I won't put you at the bottom, but I'll put you at number nine. It chapter two. Yeah, I th I'm okay with that. I think that I think that that's fair so far. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to put it at the bottom. I got to save some spots at the top and the bottom because we don't know what's about to get thrown at us. 
Let's go ahead and do another spin. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Uh, Halloween res carry. Okay, some of these are so small you can't even see them. But we got Carrie. This is a classic. This is a absolute classic. This movie scared the bejesus out of me as a kid. Uh, if not just because of the look on her face when she gets doused in the pig's blood and goes into her trance. She is terrifying. And then going up, if you put yourself in those kids' situation, going up against somebody like that where you stand absolutely no chance. I mean, come on. Uh, I'm going to give Carrie... The number two spot. I like it. I, I really, I, I like the list so far. I think we're doing good. I don't think we've got anything out of place yet, but now things are going to start to get interesting. We're running out of spaces. We still got the number one spot. We still got the number 10 spot. Uh, so let's see what we get. X. Okay. Uh, I, I like I like X. I think that uh, this whole trilogy with the release of Maxine... I personally like Pearl a little bit more than X, but I think X was a decent movie. I mean, you got a little bit of sex, a little bit of kills, got a little bit for everybody. Uh, Mia Goff, I think, is fantastic in this movie. Uh, Jenna Ortega, I think, is really good in this movie. And it's interesting that the killer, Pearl, old lady Pearl, you know, it's, you don't see very many old elderly people doing the killing. So it was kind of a nice little twist. I did not expect it. Uh, it's a decent movie. Uh, let's put it, let's put it just behind H two O, and that again, that might piss some people off. I don't really care. X was okay, but everything above it, I I enjoy more. So I'm 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 again, I'm still, still pretty happy with where we are. I haven't really had to put anything out of position yet. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Hang on one second. We got a little technical difficulty. There we go. Night of the Living Dead. Night of the Living Dead. They're coming to get you, Barbara. <laughs> this is a classic. Romero's classic. I feel like I don't want to put it at one. I don't want to put it at one. So we're going to put it at four. Night of the Living Dead. Uh, one of the more tragic endings of any horror movie. I certainly feel bad uh, for the gentleman who gets popped. I can't remember his name. It's been a while. Maybe I need to watch this movie again, but it's been a while. I don't even remember the main character's name anymore. But I do know that he has a pretty tragic ending. He gets shot by the mob uh, as he's peeking out of the house. So he makes it through everything they, they go through in this movie, only to be unceremoniously taken out at the very end. So pretty tragic, pretty sad. All right, now we're getting interesting because it's either going to be 10, 8, or or the best. So uh, I hope the wheel doesn't do me dirty right here. Don't give me something. Uh, what do we got? Candyman. I'm a huge fan of Candyman. I think that Tony Todd is horror royalty, and I think that this is one of the more underrated horror movies in history. Is it underrated enough for me to put it at one? No, it's not. Uh, so I'll put it at eight. I, I don't. Again, I don't think that that is a terrible spot for it. Uh, I I kind of wish it maybe was up here towards the middle of the list a little bit, but eight is where it's going to be. <laughs> it's already. Damn it. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hear about that one. I do like, I do like Candyman. I think that uh, it's a really creepy, really interesting story. And, and there's plenty of brutality, plenty of awesome kills, while not just being overrun with them. I mean, they don't shove it all down your face. There is a little bit of nuance to the storytelling. I love this movie. I think it's a great movie. All right. We got number one and we got number 10. It's either going to be the best or the worst. Nightmare on Elm Street 2, we already did that. What are the odds of that? Let's give it another spin. We've got 100 horror movies on here, and we just spun the same one in less than 10. That's interesting. Scream 6. All right, so the most recent Scream movie. I can't put it at 1. I can't. I can't put it at 1. I, I did enjoy it um, somewhat for the most part. I'm a bigger fan of the newer Scream movies, I think, than some. Um, but the fact that this... This cast isn't coming back, and that's all we have is five and six. They didn't get to finish the trilogy. Uh, I think that the fact that they didn't kill anybody meaningful off in this movie is really a detriment because now they don't have an opportunity to kill any of the core four. They all survive, and it just it didn't give me any real heavy, heavy hit. I mean, you bring in all these extra characters, and you kill them off again. And none, you know, At this point in the franchise, I think we're here for a great story, 
and probably to see one of the core characters go down. I mean, you got to keep raising the stakes. So having everybody survive, I think, was a huge, huge miss. Scream 6, you're going at number 10. So, by default, please wheel, don't screw me here. What is our best horror movie on my list? The Hills Have Eyes remake. Uh, uh, okay, that wouldn't have... Uh, that wouldn't have been wouldn't have been my choice. I don't mind this movie. Um, I've never actually seen the original, if I'm being completely honest with you. So I don't know how it compares to that movie, but I, I will say I don't like movies that feature rape scenes. I'm not a big fan of rape scenes, so that's a really hard part of this movie to get through. But other than that, the characters are are interesting. I love that the boyfriend, I mean, you got pegged, you got him pegged as, you know, one of the first killed, and he ends up being the hero. He ends up being the one that, you know, infiltrates their compound and rescues his baby. So uh, that is a huge, huge deal for me. I love if you can kind of subvert my expectations without just make it an unnecessary twist. You know, don't just throw a twist in there for the sake of there being a twist. But if you have a character that we all think is going to die and he ends up being the hero, I thought that worked pretty well, so I would not put it at number one. I definitely have a couple that I would love to readjust, but overall, I'm okay with my list. I think I did pretty decent, so uh, comment down below. Let me know what your actual ranking of these 10 movies would be if you didn't have to blindly rank them. Uh, for the most part, I think I hit it spot on. There are a couple, again, that I would like to readjust. But Round two, fight. I have a wheel that has 100 horror movies on it. We're going to spin it 10 times, and I'm going to attempt to not make myself look like a fool by ranking these movies blindly. So you know the drill. You know what's going on. Happy Halloween. Let's go ahead and spin it once. So give us something good. Give us something good to start off with. Um, I definitely... Uh, Evil Dead, okay, the first Evil Dead is an absolute classic. Some people prefer the second second one to this one. I'm, I'm one of the people that I either want my Evil Dead to be scary or funny, so I prefer part one and then Army of Darkness a little bit better than part two. I, I think that part two is actually my least favorite of the trilogy. Uh, so I am a big fan of the first Evil Dead. This was um, one of my cousin's favorite movies who unfortunately passed away, so... I enjoy watching this movie. It brings back a lot of great memories of me being a kid watching the movie with him. So I'm going to put it at number four. Again, I like to start somewhere in the middle. I don't think that it's going to be number one on this list, but it's definitely going to be towards the top for me. The original Evil Dead, Sam Raimi, is a, is a genius. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got for part two. Scream 4. Uh... Scream 4, it's a, it's a tough one for me because part of the time when I watch this movie, I really, 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 really enjoy it. And other parts, I feel like it's totally unnecessary. They might have, could have just stopped the franchise at 3. So, I don't know. I think that it's a decent, it's definitely better than Part 3 in my opinion. I think that Kirby was a great addition to the character, uh, to the to the franchise. I don't know... I've heard rumors that they're giving her her own like spinoff. I don't know that that's necessary, but I guess we'll see. Um, let's do it number. Let's do it number seven. Scream four is going to be number seven for me. Again, not the bottom of the list, but I, I think that I'm going to have quite a bit more that are are better than Scream four. So I'm okay with putting it number seven. All right, let's see what we got for our third spin trying to follow these but some of curse of chucky okay curse of chucky was a rebound for the franchise so um i mean after seed we needed something we needed something to to get a little bit of horror back into this franchise and i think curse did a fantastic job so i actually really enjoy this movie i'm gonna put it at number five curse of chucky Right under Evil Dead, but ahead of Scream 4. Again, I'm totally okay with this so far. Uh, yeah, I think Curse of Chucky was, was a great return to form, and it also kind of swerved us a little bit because we thought it was a soft reboot. And then you have the scene where the, um, the wife is picking off the, 
fake skin or plastic or whatever it is, and it shows uh, the stitches. So we understand, oh my God, this is a continuation. You got to say that about Don Mancini. He has the longest true running horror franchise, you know, that hasn't had a billion reboots and, and, and different swerves like the Halloween franchise. As much as I love the Halloween franchise, we're up to like five timelines now. So at least Don Mancini has stayed true to his vision and he's seen it through to the end. Uh, I certainly don't think that the cancellation of season three is going to be the end of Chucky. Uh, he will be back. He always comes back. But for now, uh, you know, the guy's got to be proud of what he did. All right, spin four. So far, so good. I think that we're right on. I really like this. What do we got? Zombie Land. So we got a horror comedy, and I have to judge it on that merit. I mean, there are elements of horror in this movie, and there's certainly elements of comedy. I don't think that this is as good as, say, like Shaun of the Dead, but it's a really, really solid movie. When it first came out, it was phenomenal. People loved this movie. So I can't pretend like it wasn't a cultural phenomenon when it came out. I'm going to put it at number three. Zombie Land. And it's not super scary. Certainly not super scary for someone like me that enjoys horror movies. But for somebody that's a little bit more squeamish, you might get some jumps out of it. And then you're certainly going to get some laughs. So that's what a horror comedy is supposed to do. And there are few that are as good as Zombie Land, in my opinion. So I'm going to put that at number three. Again, I'm really, I'm really happy with this. The wheel is taking care of me. I don't feel like I have had to mess anything up yet. Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street Part 4. Uh, I'm going to put this one at the bottom. I'm not a fan. Elm Street 4. Not a fan of this sequel because it, it commits the cardinal sin of the movie sequel. It brings back the characters from the previous movie. You know, our dream warriors in Part 3. And it kills them off really quickly, too, and mostly unceremoniously. So not happy about how this all goes down. Not really a fan of this movie. I, I don't say I, I don't skip it. It's not offensive. Part five, I, I usually skip on a binge. But part four is definitely a downward trend, starting the downward trend of the franchise. Uh, that's just my opinion. Sorry if you don't agree. Sorry if it's your favorite, but it's definitely not mine. So give it another spin again i'm pretty happy with everything so far we're halfway done let's keep going oh friday the 13th part six jason lives this is arguably my favorite movie in the franchise it's either this one or part four so i think that this is an easy easy two I, i'm not gonna put it at one i'm gonna save myself uh just in case there's you know an absolute gem but friday the 13th Part six, yeah, uh, I think that that's easily in number two spot. I love this version of Jason. You know, we have the Roy Burns imposter Jason in part five. After they killed off Jason in part four, they realized that was a dumbass mistake. We got to get this guy back. It doesn't matter how. So, yeah, we get Tommy to dig him up, throw a pipe in his or, uh, you know, a spear in his uh, chest, lightning strike, bam, zombie Jason, full on zombie Jason. Now we don't even have to explain how he's so strong because he's a full-on zombie now i love it this is one of my favorite slasher horror movies of all time uh easily top three on this list for sure all right i'm loving this i mean we got four left and i think my list is spot on so keep it up for me keep it up halloween 2 and this is not rob zombies halloween 2 otherwise i would have made it say h2 this is halloween 2 from 1981 not good enough to be the number one but a really solid, solid sequel. Uh, I'm comfortable putting it six. I really am. I'm comfortable putting this at six. I, I, I think that it could be swapped anywhere between maybe four, five, and six. But for this ranking, I'm not offended by putting it six. It's a great follow-up. I actually plan on watching Halloween 1 and Halloween 2 uh, a bit later today to celebrate Halloween. It's one of my favorite traditions. Um, so yeah, I think that if you watch those two movies back to back, it works really well. It is kind of weird that the mask changes so much. I mean, everybody knows why, you know, Deborah Hill smoking and whatnot. I don't need to tell you, but it is the same exact mask. Mask is just on Dick Warlock's face is a little bit wider. It doesn't look quite the same. And, and I also think that Warlock is a little bit too robotic. I mean, it adds a little bit of menace, a little bit of inhumanness to the character but he didn't act like that in the first one. So if you're trying to make a continuation, I think he could have done a better job of acting like Nick Castle. But it still doesn't 
pull away the fact that this is a almost near perfect follow up, especially because Carpenter didn't even want to make it. So uh, you're talking about a guy who got drunk and wrote the script in like a day and a half or whatever. Uh, pretty damn good effort if you consider all that. All right, we got three more, three more, and I'm feeling pretty good about the list as long as we don't get any. Oh, <laughs> oh God. Oh, this is going to piss some people off because I cannot put Texas Chainsaw Massacre at number one. I just, this is a movie. Uh, I believe I heard Cody Leach say this one time, and, it, and it's, the, it's my feelings wholeheartedly on this movie. I revere it and I respect it more than I actually enjoy it. It's, it's a tough watch. It's supposed to be, rightfully so. Toby Hooper knew what he was doing. It's a really tough watch, and if that's your bag, this movie is right up your alley. I mean, it is uncomfortable to the 10th degree. So uh, in that regard, I wish that I could put it higher than 8, but I cannot put it at 1. So that's probably the first one that's going to make some people upset, but TCM is going to be at number 8. Again, I don't know that I, I definitely wouldn't put it behind Halloween 4 or Halloween 2 and Scream 4. Probably not even behind Curse of Chucky if this was a real ranking. But for this blind ranking, it's got to be number eight. Sorry, TCM fans, but <laughs> that's, that's, the, that's the game. Okay, we got two more. We got two more. We either have the number one. It's not going to be chapter two. It's not going to be It Chapter 2. Go ahead and save my breath. I think that It Chapter 1 is way better than Chapter 2. I love the kid actors. They did a good job of... Of aging up everybody. I think they did a really good job of casting James McAvoy, Bill Hader, you know, all, all these people do a really good job in this movie. I just think it's kind of silly that you can bully an interdimensional being to death, essentially. So the ending fell flat for me completely, whereas the ending of the first one I thought was really awesome. So it chapter two, if I could put you at number 10, I would. I don't even like you more than Nightmare on Elm Street, honestly. So, and by default, the wheel is going to decide what our number one is. So let's, uh, let's check it out. Our number one movie is The Purge. Okay. Um, it could be worse. It could be worse. I don't know that I'd put The Purge at number one on this list, but I do really enjoy The Purge, the first Purge. Ethan Hawke is one of my favorite actors. So I could get down with that. I, again, is it is it completely a perfect list? But no, I, I don't think it's also overly offensive other than maybe uh, maybe TCM down here at number eight. But other than that, that's my list, guys. Comment down below. Let me know which you would rank these 10 movies at if you had the hindsight to see them prior. So I got 10 movies. Let me know what you think. And as always, thank you for being here and watching this video. Be good people. Be good to each other. Happy Halloween 2024. Go out there and get some candy. Have a great night.